Hey YouTube, welcome to Just My Experience, I'm Eric. So today I'm talking about the e-bus. So if you live here in Alberta like I do, and you travel between Edmonton and Calgary, there are basically three main uh, buses that you can take between the cities. The Greyhound, which everybody knows, the Red Arrow, which is the baller luxury coach, and the e-bus. If you're anything like me, once you've taken the Red Arrow, there's no going back to the Greyhound bus. The problem with the Red Arrow though, is that yes, it is a super comfortable ride, it's expensive as hell. So if you are thinking of taking the e-bus between Edmonton and Calgary, um, I just took it this weekend for the first time in a long time. And so here's just my experience with the e-bus. So here's what I like about the e-bus. It is affordable. 40 bucks compared to 70 bucks is a pretty big difference for one-way trip between Edmonton and Calgary. If Red Arrow has not yet ruined you for all other buses, then this should be fine. The e-bus is clean, it's relatively comfortable, which I'll talk a little bit more about later, and like I say, for 40 bucks, it's fine. Having said that, I understand now why their prices are so low. Now let's talk about the things that I don't like about the e-bus. First, it's open seating. When you buy a ticket on the Red Arrow, I love the fact that you can reserve a specific seat on the coach. You can't do that on the e-bus, and I don't think the Greyhound has assigned seating either. The reason why I don't like open seating on the e-bus specifically is because having taken it now two or three times, the clientele on the e-bus are not the most considerate of people, in my experience. What I mean by that is that when you get onto the e-bus, if you are not one of the first people on there, and everyone has found uh, seats, people will just put their bags on the seat beside them to reserve it so that no one sits beside them for the trip. Ah, oh, I hate that. It just kind of creates this awkward moment where and I'll just speak from my experience here. You know, you have no choice but to like, you know, politely ask the person, oh, excuse me, um, is anyone sitting there? And then <laughs> I've had people basically just give, look up at me and give me this look as they move their bag going, oh. and then they take their bag and they, and they shift it over so that I can sit down. Gee, thank you. So it just saves all that drama and, and headache by having assigned seating which the e-bus does not. Another thing that I found a little awkward about the e-bus is that there's no armrest in between the seats. Now that's probably okay if you're sitting there with your honey and you like to cuddle up or whatever. But if you're there and you got a total stranger sitting beside you and you guys are big, you are definitely getting all up in each other's personal space for sure. Let's talk about power. <laughs> they do have power, yes but they don't have USB plugins. Not only that, but the outlets are both along the wall of the bus, which means that whoever's got the window seat is gonna have the dude next to them, their cables running across their lap to the wall. Oh, the Wi-Fi. So they do have free Wi-Fi on the bus, but it is weak as hell. Do not expect to stream uh, YouTube or Netflix or any of that stuff. And I think I even was on Facebook and I think that even loaded mega slow. Another thing that was a little awkward for me was that there's no trays on the seat in front of you that you can fold down and like put stuff on like a laptop or a drink or whatever. They do have cup holders off to the side, yes. Oh, that, that's another thing. They do have cup holders, but both cup holders are along the wall. <laughs> So the person in the aisle has to reach over the guy next to them just to get their drink. Let's talk about entertainment for a second. Um, one thing that I love about the Red Arrow is that they do show movies on there. I, it's, I, it's been a while since I've taken the Greyhound. I don't know if they show movies on that bus, but here on the E-Bus, they do have screens, but they basically just show the orientation video at the, stop, at the start of the trip, and then they shut it off. So yes, make sure that if you're traveling the E-Bus, bring entertainment, bring your own media, because they ain't gonna be showing nothing on that bus. So that was my experience on the e-bus this weekend. Like I say, 
<laughs> the red arrow has ruined me for like all other buses. So if you are soft and a princess like me, <laughs> thanks to the red arrow, then um, just be aware that this is what uh, the e-bus is. If saving money is your thing, then yes, absolutely take the e-bus. But if you can afford... Sorry. But if you can afford the red arrow, you, there's just, no, that's, that's a no-brainer. You gotta take the red arrow. Anyways, that was just my experience with the e-bus. If you are traveling within Alberta, and specifically between Edmonton and Calgary, um, it's definitely worth giving uh, the e-bus a try. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Just My Experience. I'm Eric.